What's up guys? This is our 2023 GMC 2500 HD with the 6.6 .6 V8. Just wanted to give you a little rundown on some things that we had to do to this truck. Now it gets driven a lot and it, and it tows golf carts, sometimes multiple go golf carts in one, you know, in one run. So uh, take that into consideration, but some thing uh, it basically needed a whole new engine at 85,000 miles because the camshaft went out on it it was ticking very loudly uh, air conditioning went out basically need an entire new air conditioning system you know all the components need to be replaced and we had numerous shops and mechanics take a look at it so we got you know second opinions and whatnot but not too thrilled about that you know this is a pretty expensive allegedly heavy-duty vehicle and I would have to uh, <laughs> I would have to doubt that because our Dodge Ram which has you know more than 50,000 miles has had zero problems towing a great deal of uh, golf carts so uh, you know so just keep that in mind if you're looking for a heavy-duty truck that can really handle the abuse you might want to think twice about this particular one. And I don't know if it was just this one, but I've heard of other issues with other GMC 2500s, you know, that have ticking issues, especially if it's in the economy mode, you know, which we try to disable. If you're running in tow mode all the time, it will not engage the uh, economy four cylinder mode, displacement on demand, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a fan of that. I disable it on pretty much every vehicle that offers it on mine. And uh, so yeah, good looking truck, nice features inside and whatnot. But as far as really being able to handle heavy towing, I mean, you're talking it's towing sometimes up to more than 5,000 pounds. Uh, yeah, not good. Because this thing is, you know, you're talking $70,000 for one of these brand new at least you know it's not a denali it's not the uh, the luxury model but it's still considered to be heavy duty and not so much i would go with the dodge ram either 1500 or 2500 ram that's just my opinion because i've had all of the above and uh yeah not so good with this one check out our videos we got all kinds of videos on our channel relating to cars dirt bikes atvs golf carts scooters working on stuff around the house different cars hot rods trucks and things you know motorcycles of all kinds so check it out y'all have a great day if you've had a similar issue with your gmc 2500 feel free to post below and uh, what you had to do about it because of course it was all out of warranty and we had to pay for it out of pocket basically so you're talking more than fifteen thousand dollars that had to be paid in an engine and full uh air conditioning system yeah y'all have a good one